You might say that a biscuit wasn't complex, and I tell you you're wrong. I mean, to make a proper biscuit is a life's work. My name is David LeFaver. I'm the owner of this restaurant, Manhattan Beach Post, in Manhattan Beach, California. Through my 20s and 30s, I worked at some of the best Michelin-starred restaurants in the country and in the world. I surrounded myself in the best culinary communities I could find. And then I was recruited to LA to open the Water Grill, and I stumbled across Manhattan Beach with a friend. And as soon as I saw Manhattan Beach, I knew this is where I was gonna spend the rest of my life. I think some of my fondest memories in my lifetime are eating. And a lot of those are when my mom was cooking. I grew up, my mom was a single mom, and we grew up cooking every day. And if we weren't sweeping the floor or setting the table, she was teaching me how to make chowder when I was in middle school. There's always something from my family that I've learned that I put on the menu to keep me remembering where it all started and to keep me remembering who taught me how to do it. One of the dishes he's become best known for are his biscuits with chives, bacon, and cheddar. Which sounds odd. I mean, that's like the kind of dish you'd expect a, a slightly higher and greasy spoon as opposed to like a really nice restaurant. The recipe for the bacon cheddar buttermilk biscuits was originally my mother's. And making a great biscuit seems to be challenging for most people, but really, I think it's just don't overdo it. What he is saying is that he can do something that's just frankly delicious. So for our bacon cheddar buttermilk biscuits, we combine all of our dry ingredients, flour and salt, and we put them together in the bowl, and then leave it. Biscuits are notoriously difficult to make, and they're almost a technical achievement, these things. I was on stage at Caltech with uh, food scientist Shirley Corrier once, and I think we may have talked a solid 45 minutes, hour, just on biscuits. And I think we probably could have gone another few hours on that. And then you add your cheese, your chives, your bacon. And then lastly, just take the, the buttermilk and pour it in there until the dough just, just barely comes together. A good biscuit has to be tender. It has to be crisp. It should be layered. And all those things are contradictory when you're making them. It looks ugly. Big chunks of cheese and butter and herbs. And, and then finally, when you scoop it, it kind of comes together and you roll a little and you put it down and it looks a little bit nicer, but still there's big chunks. Once you bake them, that's where they go from like, you know, a caterpillar to a butterfly. And then in the end, when you bake it, that butter starts to melt. You know, the cheese oozes out, the herbs start to part flavor, the bacon really seeps into the flour, and then you get that nice crunchy outside, and then you pop it open, it steams because of the butter and the buttermilk. They are crisp and they are tender and they do have flakes. And you know, if you want to put butter in it, of course you want to put butter in it. I think with a dish like this where you throw it down and you're like, look, this is, I'm confident with this dish, it's awesome. I don't have to put all these bells and whistles. I know that it's great the way it is. I think some of that comes a little bit with age. Maybe 10 years ago, I'd try showing everybody how great of a chef I am. And I think now at 40 something, I end up trying to show, hey, this are the good choices I make. The flavor of the good cheddar comes out. You get a little bit of it caramelizing, almost burning at the edges. You get the flavor of the chives, that, that little bit of oniony thing, that little bit of chaw between your teeth, and of course, the chewy little bits of bacon, because bacon. Since I was 20 years old, I've tried to surround myself in the best culinary communities in the world, whether that was Charlie Trotter's or when I worked at El Bulli or Raymond Blanc or wherever. And I came back, I opened this restaurant with all these different dishes from the influences I've had all over the world. And the, the one thing that resonates with everybody and that people freak out about are the biscuits that I made based off my mom's recipe. So you can go all around the world and come back, but you end up back at home. It's just a really good biscuit.